For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem in which a force F is having a magnitude of 100 newtons. 100 newtons acts on the diagonal of the parallel pipe. Determine the moment F about A using uh, two different formulas. MA equals 2RB cross F and MA equals RC cross F. So this is RC, this is RB, and this is F, and this is F. And they want you to, to verify that both should be the same, create the same moment. So you know that the magnitude of S is 100 newtons. You know that the Cartesian vector form of F is given by the magnitude of F times the univector going from B to C. Here's B, here's C. So times this tiny univector with a magnitude of one. So we need to find this univector. For that, we need to find the points involved, which are B and C. B sits at point four in the I plus zero J plus zero K. It's point four because I'm converting these distances to meters. Point six meters and point two meters. And C sits at zero I plus point six J plus point two K. Let's find A also. A sits at point four in the I plus point six in the J plus zero in the K. So vector V C is given by C minus B and it comes out to be negative point four I plus point six J plus point two K. So now you need to find the magnitude of this vector VC, which is given by the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. And the magnitude comes out to be 0.748. Now the univector VC is the one we're trying to find, and it's given by the vector VC divided by its magnitude. Once you divide these three values by the magnitude, you're going to get the univector BC, which comes out to be negative 0 0.535 in the I, plus 0 0.802 in the J, plus 0 0.267 in the K. So we go back up here, and we know that the Cartesian vector form of F is given by this 100 Newton magnitude times each component of the univector. So by multiplying this 100 Newtons by this univector, you get that the force the Cartesian vector form of the force comes out to be negative 53.5 in the I plus 80.2 in the J plus 26.7 in the K. Now now that we have the Cartesian vector form of F we know that the first formula they want us to do is RB cross F and the second is RC cross F. For that we need to find RB and RC. So RB is equal to the vector that goes from A to B which is given by B minus A and it can set to be 0 in the I minus 0.6 in the J plus 0 in the K. And RC is given by the vector that goes from A to C and it's C minus A and it comes out to be negative 0.4 in the I plus 0J plus 0.2K so the first one which is the moment about A which is RB cross F you draw your matrix I J K on the second row you put RB which is 0, negative 0.6, 0. On the last row you put the Cartesian vector form of the force which is negative 53.5, 80.2 and 26.7.
you redraw your first and second column 0, negative 0 0.6, negative 53.5, 80.2. You do your positive diagonals, positive, 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 and they come out to be i times negative 0.6 times 26.7 is negative 16.2, j times 0 times 53.5 is 0, and k times 0 times 80.2 is also 0. So this is in the i, this is 0 on the j, and this is 0 on the k. Now you do your negative diagonals, negative, 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 negative 53.5 times negative 0.6 times k comes out to be negative 32.1k minus 80 times 0 times i is 0 and minus 26 times 0 times j is 0. So when you add this up, you get that this is equal to negative 16.2 in the i plus 0j minus 32.1 in the k. And this is using this formula. So now I'm going to do the same, the same thing, but for the second one, the moment about a R C cross F. Again, you draw your I, J, your K. Here you put R C. R C we found it to be a uh, negative point four, zero, and point two. And here you put the force vector, which is negative sixty three point five, eighty point two, twenty six point seven. You redraw your first and second column. This is 0, minus 53.5 and 80.2. You do your positive diagonals, positive, positive, positive. i times 0 times 26.7 is 0. j times 0 0.2 times negative 53.5 is negative 10.7 in the j. k times negative 0.4 times 80.2 is minus 32.1 in the K, negative diagonals, negative, negative 53.5 times 0 times K is 0 K, negative 80.2 times 0.2 times I is minus 16.04 in the I, and negative 26.7 times negative 0.4 times J is positive 10.7j. So these two cancel out, negative 10.7 and positive 10.7 and you get negative 16 point, sorry that's 16.2. 16.2i plus 0 on the j minus 32.1 in the k. And as you can see they're both the same answer final answer right here please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you